Amazingly, the draw saw the four big sides kept apart. Both London-based clubs were drawn at home, while both Manchester clubs drawn away. Chelsea v Bournemouth, Arsenal v West Ham, Leicester City v Manchester City and Bristol City v Manchester United means that, potentially, could be all four big hitters in the final four. The Carabao Cup HASNT been without its missteps, and yesterday's draw was no exception. An advertised live Twitter drawing of the quarterfinals was delayed. It would eventually take place two hours after its advertised time. When it came, it was a pre-recorded video of the draw. The EFL instantly put out a statement that it had asked for a explanation for the unacceptable delay. From a Twitter spokesman, Kane Fisser sorry for the issues that led to the delay of today's round 5 draw. We would also like to apologize to the thousands of supporters who had been patiently awaiting news of who their team would be playing. It's not the first time the competition has messed up the drawing. Earlier, in June, the draw provided Charlton Athletic with two opponents. The second round produced some home-away problems itself but there was nothing wrong with the last round drawing. Well, other than the fact it was being held in China. That meant English fans had to wake at 415 them if they wanted to the draw. For me, staying up until almost midnight while the draw was completed, which was way past my bedtime add to that Pep Guardiola coming out to criticise the ball, and the Catastrophe Cup has been quite the experience. But, the draw is done and, if City get through, we only have to endure one more drawing. Well, until next year for those of you who remember, in England back in the 1960s and 70s, there was a television show called Steptoe and Son. America took it and repackaged it under the name Sanford and Son, but they really were quite different. Anyway, it's the Steptoe and Son theme tune which comes to mind when I hear of these draws. Yet again, we have another rerun of a previous cup final. First it was West Brom 196,970, then Wolverhampton 197,374. League Cup win and defeat respectively. Now it's Leicester City, our opponents when we won the FA Cup in 1969. The ties will be played the week commencing the 18th of December. For City, that means that the 19th of December Cup tie away after the late Saturday game against Spurs. A positive is that it's a game at the Etihad and a lot of games are to be played between now and then. Bottom line, quadruple is still on.